Hello, students, parents, and staff, or probably just students and parents. Uh, this is Miss Zuleika Gerardo, and I'm gonna walk you through how to do your uh, geography, geography gem presentation. Okay, so first take a deep breath. <laughs> Geography gems seem very overwhelming, especially at the very beginning, because um, they're worth a lot of points. They're worth 30 points each, and you do about two a month. Um, so the first 15 points are going to be over the written part, and I've actually put a written part uh, example on the Jupiter. And then there's the oral or the writ or the spoken version the presentation part so i also have the presentation part on the screen in jupiter as well in our material section so go ahead and refer to that as i go along through this presentation your presentation does not have to be perfect and i don't expect it to be i expect that there's going to be some nervousness uh, especially talking in front of your classmates for a grade, I can understand that there's nervousness, but don't worry, okay? Um, I am available to review your presentation, your speaking, as well as your written part any time before your presentation is due. So we can do this, don't worry. And this is just a sample, so it may not be perfect either, okay? All right, so I'm going to do a geography gem over the Rio de Janeiro, okay? So, take one. Hi, my name is Zuleika Gerardo, and for geography gem today, I have been assigned to talk about the Rio de Janeiro. So, the Rio de Janeiro is a city in Brazil, and Brazil is in South America. Uh, so, uh, the Rio de Janeiro, um, it used to be the capital of Brazil, but now it's just a really big city. Uh, so right now, there's about 7 million people who live in the Rio de Janeiro. And that is, the exact number is 6,748,000 or 6,748,000 6, people, roughly, uh, since the last census in 2020. That's a lot of people. Uh, so I have included two pictures of the Rio de Janeiro. The first one is a picture of what they call one of the seventh wonders of the world, the new seven wonders of the world, and that is the big Jesus that they have um, that just towers over the rest of the city. Towers. There's maybe, um, well, honestly, it just is there. If you look at it, it is huge. And the arms are open wide as a way to welcome people to Jesus, as well as welcoming people to Rio de Janeiro. Uh, the second picture is a picture of the Rio de Janeiro at night. And it just thought it was a really pretty picture. Uh, Rio de Janeiro is known for their beaches um, as well as their food. But they also have a lot of problems too. I mean, with 7 million people, you would expect for them to have problems, right? If they didn't, I'd be worried because they'd have a bigger problem. So there are a lot of different problems in the Rio de Janeiro, but uh, I'm just going to talk about three of them. In a city full of people, there's not enough to go around. I take that back. There is enough to go around, but it's not spread out evenly or even so that everyone has enough. So unfortunately, there are some people who don't have homes in Rio de Janeiro. Or if they have homes, they're not safe in their homes or um, their homes aren't in really good condition. Um, the second one, which I really did not know, is that they have really bad traffic jams. Like, car bumper to bumper, so bad 
the traffic management agency down there said that it was easily 192 miles long of a traffic jam every single day, twice a day, going to work and from work. So that's a problem, you know? Can you imagine driving and then not driving for 192 miles? That's just a lot. That's a lot of gas. That's a lot of air pollution. That's a lot of people who have to go to the bathroom or who need, who are hungry and they just have to wait. Also, it puts a lot of stress, I'm thinking, on like the bridges and the roads and things like that. Uh, finally, uh, there are people who, there are a lot of people who don't have jobs in Rio de Janeiro. Um, unfortunately, uh, people are not getting their needs met. Um, the big needs that people need to survive are food, water, and shelter. Uh, also clean air. So as we've talked about um, shelter, a lot of people are homeless. Uh, food, a lot of people don't have food because they don't have jobs. And um, water. So um, there's a lot of happening in Rio de Janeiro. But the Seventh-day Adventist Church is there doing their best to help. One way that they are helping right now is a program called Sky English. So in Rio de Janeiro and in Brazil in general, not a lot of people speak English. They'll speak Spanish and Brazil is one of the only countries that speaks Portuguese. Um, but right now, maybe less than 5% of people know English. And so what, the Adventist Church is doing down there is they've created a bilingual education system. And that is uh, through all of their Adventist schools, but also it's for just uh, people who want to learn English. So it's not for, it's not just for adults, but they start from kindergarten all the way up to adulthood. So anyone um, who qualifies or who's eligible can be a part of that program. So that's a little bit about the Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and what Seventh-day Adventists are doing right now to help. Uh, we can pray for Rio de Janeiro by asking God to help with the problems, but also to bless the mission in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, thank you for listening to my Geography Gem on Rio de Janeiro. All right, so yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. And all I really want is for you guys to express what you've learned about the city. I included a lot of facts in there that I didn't include in the, pro in the, um, the slideshow or even in the written part, because I know that um, we're just starting. And also, it's just the beginning, right? And then we're just, we're working on it. So if you have more facts in your head than you've had written down, share that with us, okay?